Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Battle for Astrakhazy. So the Dragon's Rejects have joined the fight, pushed forward into this city, and I come across some heavy resistance. Alright, here we are in the city. Uh, we know there's a, a heavy enemy lance up here somewhere. So we're going to move up, see what we can find, and hopefully take them out relatively quickly. Uh, this is a four and a half skull mission. Um, and yeah, it's supposed to be a straight up battle in the city. So we're hopefully we can manage this one. Okay, oh, we looks like we got somebody right here. I have no idea what that is. Looks like a victor or something. Is it a victor? Centurion. All right. Uh, they were using the victor. They were using the Centurion model for victors before. So, okay. So before we get started on this fight, uh, you'll notice the lances are a little different. I moved some guys around here. So we got Taskmaster, who is piloting the Vulture. Uh, we've got Ice House now, who is piloting the um, Trebuchet with the large laser two MRMs, and then we brought Sarge's uh, Trebuchet forward into the first lance with the Ultra 5 and the Paravel rm 15s and Tiger Tail has come forward with the uh, Rifleman and then the second lance we put the uh, the Summoner or sorry the Hellbringer uh, the Bushwhacker and the Firestarter and then our last lance of course is the uh, Nidhogg and the Hetzer. Now the reason why I did this is uh, I was running an offline mission and I was fighting like low-level clans and a pack hunter with a clan ER PPC took the head clean off of the uh, um, trebuchet here with the ER large laser, and Raider died instantly. So we're down a we're down a good pilot. So I thought it was a good time to switch the lances around slightly. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at right now. So we are down a pilot, and she is officially dead. I thought about like just like reloading that mission and not counting it but shit happens and I'm not gonna like you know just fudge the numbers on something like that uh, I, and I know this is not a real like this is like not a real uh, um, like I don't want to say it, like not a real playthrough but you know what I mean like not a, a uh, I guess like a real playthrough I guess you want to call it um, this is just a uh, um, whatever you want to call it. It's a storyline driven uh, playthrough. But still I thought that that's the kind of thing that could happen. So I went with it. Well, we'll just leave it at that. Um, I don't like losing a, a pilot that we've had since the beginning. That's a hunchback, right? Uh, it's always terrible when I lose a pilot. It's been a long time since I've lost a pilot. You. Um, but I thought we had to kind of go with that. So that's what I did. Alright, we're going to move you up. Okay, move you up this way. So the Nidhogg, we've got to be careful. This is the uh, Hypervelocity Autocannon 20 and the Quad Missile Pods on here. Uh, we want to be careful with it. It does have pretty good armor, so it can get in and do some damage, but we're going to get in and get out with it. We're not going to stick around with that thing. It's going to be a quick strike craft. You need to do some fighting and then out. All right. I'm interested to see at four and a half skulls what we're going to get here. And we got a couple of mediums. Alright, let's get on this Centurion though. Let's just move it up. We got the range on this guy. There's no point in, in getting too close to him. Tiger Tail in the offline playthroughs has been has been hitting very, like, uh, very good low chance to hit uh, shots. I've been actually shocked at how well she's been targeting. Target so there's two hits where we probably only should have had one in total out of four shots. So standing by. So we got the AC-20 uh, Mydron on this mech now. Um, I swapped out the normal AC-20 for this one. Um, Roger. So that's the change for the Bushwhacker. Oh yeah, too. The other thing that happened is the... Uh, I'll show you in a second. The fire starter, we ended up with a bit of an issue with the fire starter too. Uh, sure, we got, well, let's, 
Yeah, let's go with the acid. Copy that. Oof. Yeah. So the fire starter you'll notice is a little different. Um, this fire starter actually went down too with that same battle. Uh, it was just overwhelmed. It was it was a storm crow, a uh, missile storm crow with the LRMs and SRMs, and then the fire starter got knocked down and then targeted and killed. So. Um, yeah, it was just like all happened within one turn too, which was ridiculous. And it was like, like it was like literally that same turn that Raider got her head taken right clean off. Um, so we lost a medium X pulse and a whole bunch of well, we lost two of the ten to rock. We lost the whole side of this mech. So I had to re-outfit it. What I did is I put a pair of MRM tens in with a couple of tons of tandem ammo. Um, so we've got you know at least a half decent amount of shots here. Um, with the MRM 10s. So it's a little more than the uh, Tandem 20s that we had before in total, number of rounds, but just not as, as big of a punch. I took the heavy rocket launchers on, we got off because we only had one left, and we just got a pair of rockets on here, and I had to replace the medium X pulse with a uh, medium pulse laser. But um, yeah, so that's kind of how this one turned out, unfortunately. So I, I haven't really, like, this is the first battle I've kind of played after that major loss, so I haven't really tested it out at all. But I'm not really sure if this is a good loadout or not. We'll see how it goes. It doesn't quite have the tandem punch that we had before. What do you need? Which is like a base, which which was a basic one shot one like one shot kill kind of weapon. See if we can get an eye on that hunchback Got it. over here. No shooting, just running. Yep, we can. We can. What's up, buddy? Good chances to hit, too. Let's ward it. War lord it. Apply a little bit of damage on this guy. I'm taking a shot. This is probably the AC-10 Hunchback. Yeah? So I've been looking for weapons for this guy. Full speed. Been trying to update the loadout on this thing. It's slowly coming along. We had ER. We had me mediums and a pulse laser before. Now I got two clan mediums and two ER clan smalls. Same LRM, same PPC. So it's slowly getting there. Um, but once again, it's all going to depend on the stuff that we find, right? In offline plays. You, yeah, the other, the other thing too is I had to uh, stop the update of the um, of the uh, pedal to the metal. The longbow, I had a loadout for it, which is, was kind of an interim loadout which could be updated over time. Uh, but then I had to stop the update of that because I, I lost all the head components from the um, the uh, cent or yeah. the um, sorry from the from the trebuchet. So I had to take the head components out of the longbow and put it into the um, back into the trebuchet to get it back up and running again. So yeah, so I had to stop the update on that guy. Hey. It'll. I mean, we're getting there. It's it's actually in the repair bay right now. It's actually being repaired, uh, so that by the time we're ready to start putting stuff on it, it'll be ready to go. Oh boy, Here But it was go. like when I had the loadout set up. Um, I, I originally set it out as a uh, um, LRM-20, so it had four um, clan LRMs and a pair of large lasers, and a, a, a 320 core, so it had a half decent speed to it. Face dose, eh? Where are you? Ooh, that's the Warhammer guy. That's interesting. Are we only facing four guys? I hope they get reinforcements. Right here. I came down here looking for a good fight, and if we don't get reinforcements, I'm going to be a little bit upset. This war Warhammer's given himself to us, so let's take it. Wow, our chances to hit dropped. 
Let's go that route. We're just gonna straight up shoot it. Gonna leave the tandems off. Ooh, nice. Two hits. Those are both leg hits. We got a chance to leg that guy. Ow. So I can expect to be hit a lot from these guys. They're four and a half skulls. They probably got really good pot. They probably got really good pilots. So. Yep. I should uh, enjoy the amount of times I'm going to get hit here. Let's get over here. Get a straight line, or a straight red line on this guy. Throw the ERs on. So we're we're heat neutral with this guy, which is pretty good. Attacking from position. These guys got some half decent speed too. He goes on twenty, eh? So it looks like it's his turn now. Looks like it's his turn. Well, right after the Hetzer again. Okay, you can cut it out now. Hetzer's really not even a threat, too. That's the thing. Good to go. Uh, I want a wheel, so let's get this guy done quickly if we can. Not really interested in Centurion parts anyway, so... Let's fly up over the building. With our fluorescent camouflage. Let's see if we can end this guy real fast here. Some heavy damage. Well, good damage anyway. Ah, uh, HVAC misfired. Right here. Mm hmm. Uh, we're gonna get you on this side. I got it. Don't think. Don't shoot. Just run. We got enough mechs over here. That centurion's almost done. Okay, who else do we want to ship over there? You. I think the bushwhacker needs to go because it's slow. Get up that way. Sorry. And then let's get... What do you need? You on this guy. Okay, forget about that hunchback for now. This is our target. Uh, he's not unstable, so let's hit him hard. Hopefully make him unstable. Okay, we penned that leg. How'd that take? Orders. Gonna back up over here. Because we're going after that leg. Going after the leg. Got the range on it. Got a good chance to hit. Alright, we got one on. I hear ya. You betcha. What if the MRMs are too much? Oh, he's got like nothing left on there. Uh, ten points, eh? Let's just go with one MRM. All we need to do is hit it with a couple of missiles. There we go. Like any more damage, it just transfers to the torso, and we got a chance to, to for him to blow up. So now we got a chance to take the other leg. All right, who do we got left here? I'm here. Can we get a direct sight. We can get a direct line right here. Can we just move it up? Yep. There. Direct okay. L direct LOS on this guy, and hopefully we can get enough missiles on him to knock his ass over. I Ooh, not quite enough. I'm under heavy fire. You all right? You all right? Ooh, accurate. Oh, they don't like me at all. Nope, they don't. They don't like any of us, so I'm listening. get used to it. Okay, I'm gonna vigilance this. Gonna spin it up. Affirmative. 
They may only have three. That would be so weird. I, I, I took this specifically because I was looking for a good challenge. Let's see what we can do with the uh, tandems on this guy. I know his ammo's on the other side, but we might be able to claim that uh, ballistic weapon. I'm guessing you didn't like that, did ya? All out of short range missiles. All right, buddy. A couple shots in the leg, if we, if you please. Don't trash this guy. Oh, what's up, boss? Well, let's end this guy. Tango down. Yeah, they only got three. God We're damn it. Well, hopefully we can clean this up fast and get into a second fight. Maybe this is just a faint attack. That's pretty good chances. Engage. Did get one leg hit, I think. Yeah. There we go. Straight up attack this guy. Copy that. PPC finally landed. A lot of leg hits with that uh, missiles. Is he gonna go down? Nice. Got past the arm. Will in a second. Yep. Let's move. Okay, I think we just need to ultra five that leg. Nope. We need to hit it with everything. Uh Screw it. What can I do for you? Man, we're not even hitting the leg. Roger that. Sorry, I'm hurt. I don't want him shooting, so Gotcha. Yeah. yeah, it's gonna suck for salvage, but not much we can do about it. Move order received. Well, let's show this hunchback what kind of weapon he should have had mounted. Good incendium. Let's go with precision, though. You want to shoot me? Here's here's what you get in return. Locked up. Past the armor. And he bailed. There it is. Alright, let's do another one. Alright, guys. Well, this is not what I really planned. Ah, oh, man. I just uh, went through a whole mission. Escort mission in the city. Four skulls versus Ghost Bear. We did pretty well. Retrievers got an injury. I mean, he was hit by a charge attack and knocked over, so he's got an injury. He's out of action right now. There was a couple of lacerators, like storm crows, that we knocked out. Got a couple parts from one of them to assemble one. We managed to pick up two ultra autocannon fives off another lacerator, plus five tons of um, of uh, safe ultra autocannon five ammo. So now, um, yep. and I outfitted the vulture, re-outfitted the vulture, and then I realized that I didn't hit record. So, that's the problem with like trying to record two missions as I cut the recording between the two of them because like it just you, eats up hard drive space and I've got like just most of my hard drives are just e eaten up with, with episodes of um, Darkness Falls right now that I haven't actually edited and posted yet. So, anyway, that long story short, so we, I lost that whole bit of the thing. Um, so the vulture right now, it got refit. So we've got a tag in here. We've got, we switched back um, 
from the uh, Artemis clan that I had in here to the regular contraband fire control system. And we've got multi-track, we've got gunnery, we've got heat dissipation um, as like individual target computer elements. Uh, I was able to drop a couple of prototype double heat sinks. We've got, I didn't have two clan ER large lasers, we only had one. So I had to drop a regular ER large laser in it, but we have a pair of Ultra 5s in here as well, plus a tag. So uh, I was thought I was just going to jump, jump in here real quick just to test it out, just to see what the loadout was going to be like before I took it into battle. But then I realized I hadn't recorded because I went to, like I was loading in here, I saw the little record button was on, and I realized that when I ended the recording, or I thought I ended the recording for the last battle, I started a recording. So I realized I had, had anyway, I don't have anything recorded. So this is going to be the second half of the, that last episode. We're just going to fight this guy and just check out to see how good this thing can possibly that. be. My big concern was the, the jam chance on the ultra auto cannons because the uh, targeting computer adds recoil. So I'm interested to see. Now we do have control bursts to be able to mitigate that. I'm taking the shot. Nice damage. So this is just a single ghost bear pile. It's a three skull. Um, it's a three skull match. And I went for full salvage on it. We do have the clan laser AMS on here too, which is nice. My armor's melting off. It's not melting off. You got plenty of armor. Aye, aye. This mech is designed to stay at range though. Closing with an enemy with this thing is not a good idea. So we're just going to keep backing up. Position confirmed. The synergy between the ER large is like this has got a range of not like max range of 900. This is 840. This, these two are 840 so it's like it's this is a long range mech like it's that's what it's designed for right so um, yeah look at the chances to hit you got a fire control system predator or a sorry a sensors um, whatever it is the sensor trackers tracker sensors whatever it is with the extent like good extended and uh, long range chance to hit so yeah look at that the idea is that this guy is going to be like, let's just try it. Let's go after this guy's leg. Um, yeah, this is what this guy's designed to be is this from pinpoint long range mech. That once we have our enemy like, like unbalanced and stuff, this guy's just going to be able to rip legs and stuff off of. And I thought about going with the, because we do have a clan fire control system, um, or targeting computer that is. That adds plus two target, um, plus two offensive push push accuracy, and minus ten percent chance to um, standing by. Minus ten percent chance to. Uh, uh, you're guarding that leg. It's fine. We'll take the other leg. Minus ten percent jam chance, but it doesn't have the plus one accuracy and evasion in order this that this targeting computer has. So, it's like a it's a six of one half dozen of another. We're gonna go with control bursts on this. Just fire at him. Okay, I'm on it. Hoping to mitigate some of that recoil, reduce the jam chance over time. Yeah, you can't hide from me, buddy. You're outweighed, that's the thing. He's like 55 and I'm 70. 15 tons is a huge I'm difference, here. especially in this tax bracket. Let's get over here. Confirmed. All right, go pee again. Go for the leg. Yeah, that that last battle was it was pretty interesting. We had two ambushes where we were ambushed by uh, the first one was uh, units in buildings, and the second one it was like three heavy tanks in a building. Right at the very as we were getting the guys out, we lost one of our escort vehicles. All we ended up, all we had in that was two mash, or sorry, three mash vehicles, which had no weapons, On my way. and an HQ vehicle with an LRM-10. So we didn't have any fire support, but the mechs that we were facing uh, weren't that tough. So I just fired this guy. There goes his leg. And his torso and his arm. And he's bailing. Beautiful. Mission successful.
Yeah, so I guess thinking back, I should probably tell you what we got out of that first mission, too. Um, we got all five mech parts. Oh, you did a fair bit of damage to my torso there. We got all five mech, par mech parts. There was two Warhammer parts. There was two... Um, two Warhammer, two Hunchback, and one Centurion part. We got a Clan um, Laser AMS, which is on the uh, Vulture right now, as you can tell. Um, what else did we get? Uh, ER Laser Bright Bloom and a couple of other minor things. Not not a lot out of that f that first mission. So it wasn't that big a deal. We should just go for the C-Bills on this. Or maybe we just go... We got... We got one of these... Let's just go for the C-Bills, because, I mean, it costs us 300000 to put this thing together, so this is like 400 and something thousand. Plus, we're going to be getting, like, six other items here, so let's hope we get some good stuff. It's all good, so it's like not, not we're, like we're losing out on anything here. So we're going to keep that, we're going to keep that. We're keeping everything. Beautiful. So that was simple salvage there. All right, well, I'm sorry the action was kind of low on this one. Uh, that last... Or the two missions ago, not the one that we just saw, but the one before that was actually pretty good. I mean, we did we handled it pretty well. Um, but uh, let's have a quick look here in the mech bay before we end this one. I'll just show you kind of roughly what I was thinking. Um, so you can see how this guy's refit. If we can get another clan ER large laser, then I'm going to pull out the uh, regular ER large here. We'll put the clan ER large in. Just because it ups the damage. Yeah, it's upping the heat a little bit. But then what I can do is I can either pull out the multi-track. Um, or I'll pull out, I don't know, like the, I don't know, maybe the battle computer energy or, or gunnery. I don't know, we'll pull something out. Maybe even the tag out. And we'll put another heat sink in. Another uh, prototype double heat sink. But this isn't a bad loadout. I mean, I'm not sure about the range finder. I, I like it. If we can get a double plus range finder, it's better. Is it the... Wait, is there a triple plus two? Isn't there one that's like 80 meters? It's like 20, 40... I think there's a 60 and an 80. Or maybe it's just 60. Or maybe it goes 20, 40, 80. I can't remember what it is. But if we can get the longer range finder, I'll, I'll take that as well uh, for the cockpit. Just so we can get visuals on. I want to try and find an advanced zoom Mark III. I don't I don't have one right now. I'm very limited with, with uh, stuff for here. So I've only got the advanced zoom Mark one. So that's... So if the enemies close, we've got a better chance to see them and hit them um, within kind of a medium range kind of idea. Uh, but other than that, we're just relying on eyes from everybody else. Uh, so yeah, that's the loadout here. It's not bad. I mean, I'm, I, I don't mind it. There's a lot of pinpoint damage. We up we upscaled from the two pulses and the two uh, ER smalls and the two LRM-15 racks. I think with the pinpoint damage from the Ultra 5s, it's going to help it out. Uh, the recoil is the only thing I'm worried about, though. And then this Panther here, um, we ended up getting a, um, a little while ago, I ended up getting offline a, one of those ones where you spend a million bucks to buy, like, a couple of animals, and then you trade it to somebody, and they get, they give you a mech or whatever, an advanced mech. I ended up getting this Panther. I had the sea bills, so I thought, why not, I'll try it. I had over six million at that point. Um, and I'm like, okay, we'll try it. And we got this Panther. Now, it's, it's, yeah, it is what it is, you know, it's. If this, we had gotten this early in the match, like early in the uh, playthrough, this would have been a pretty good mech, to, I think, 35 tons. It's only got one energy hard point, uh, one support, and one um, uh, missile hard point. But, you know, you can throw an LRM-10 in here and a large laser or something. It wouldn't be too bad. Um, and a bunch of jump jets, whatever. But uh, it's got an Artemis system in here. So, I mean, we didn't make our million back on this, obviously. It's like we didn't get enough gear here to make a million. So it was really worth it. it. wasn't really worth it, but it could end up being a scout mech. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'll probably just end up trashing it because I don't think. We, I mean, we could put together an adder or something for better than this, right? So, yeah, it's really not worth it. So let's go to quickly to storage. Um, so we've got here's the Stormcrow Lacerator. So. And then we've got another, we've got four parts here for a Stormcrow Lacerator. This is the one with the double Ultra Auto Cannon 5s and an AMS. So I could pull this guy forward. I don't know. We'll think about it. 
Like, I want to have a couple of mediums for scout mechs and stuff, but I don't think he's fast enough. Like, I don't think this is a fast enough mech. I think this is like... I wish it would say what the speed is right here. Item recovered 54%. We're getting pretty good on that. Item repair 29. Limb repair 37. Um... Yeah, I mean, we can, I mean, we've got like several Stormcrow parts now. We can put together a couple Stormcrows. Uh, if wants coffee, it's a fresh pot on the galley. But like I said, we've got so many mechs to bring forward still. We're getting there, we're getting there in the sea bills. I'm br waiting for this longbow to finish up because probably what I'm going to do with the longbow, it's almost done, nine days. Actually, let, you know what, let's just do that now. Since we've got time, uh, and there's... The actual missions that are left in the uh, mission bay are actually garbage, so I was going to wait for after the financial report anyway. So let's bring the longbow back I the last few the minutes last of the minute. episode here, and I'll show you what I was thinking about doing with this guy. So it's tricky because um, I had a I had a build on this already, uh, but then when we lost, um, like when the fire starter went down, or the sorry the trebuchet went down, I lost the uh, stuff for his head. So I had to like stop the build on this so I could get the stuff of the head back. Uh, but what I was thinking was, uh, and I'm really interested in your comments and what you guys think. So we was going to go with a 320 core, gives it a 4.6 movement speed. And then I was going to go with, um, it's not, we're not going to go with the XL engine. I think it was just a clan double heatsink kit. Because uh, we didn't have this, like if I do this, Oh, it's only 2.7 million. What was it that was cranking it up then? I can't remember what it was. Something was like really cranking the cost of this up. You know what it is? I think the repair cost I've already paid is over a million. That's probably why. I paid. I already paid a fair bit. Fair bit to get this thing just just repaired. So okay. So I was thinking about that, and then for weapon systems, I was gonna go with. And it's because I'm limited with what I have, right? So I was going to drop in... Where are you here? One of you here. One of you here. Those are just the backup weapons. And then I was going to go with... So one... This is just interim for now, right? Until we can get better gear. But I'll go with four of those. Then when we can get LRM-20s, the clan LRM-20s, I'll put them in here and remove the two large lasers. That should fit everything. So we go that route with the four LRM-10s. Now it's it's only LRM-40, right, with a pair of large lasers. It's got a half decent movement speed, so it's a little bit faster than the, the Holopolis that we've already got right now. So we could get rid of the Holopolis, take it out of there. Um, and then for internals, um, what did I have now? We have the tracker sensors, which would go in. I had fire control system, that the other fire control system, um, what was it called? The one that gives you the bonus range. I can't remember what it was now. The two at extreme, two at long, plus one at medium, plus two at short. Whatever it is. Can't remember the name of it. I had that in here, but I had to pull that out to put it in the, um, in the um, trebuchet. So the fire control system is really what I'm missing right now. Now I could go with, um, oh yeah, by the way, we picked up an enhanced imaging as well, which I want to put in the um, fire starter. Uh, I could go with missile range, or I could go with, uh, where are you here? A uh, Artemis system, right? For better clustering at range, could go that route. And then what we would do is for ammo, we've got, I don't have a lot of, of variety here unfortunately I, mean, I do but I don't have like massive amounts of it if that makes sense so I got a little bit here and there right so I would drop in two things of thunder to handle out like light mechs and stuff right um, we got LRM chaff which we can include in which will help out uh, we could fill up with Artemis ammo right and then we could do like, we had the option to put Hydra in. I'm not sure if I really want to. Um, it's nice to, like, flood an area with fire. But these things don't do really a whole lot of damage. Um, I know it's AOE, it's AOE fire, which is always nice. 
I mean, we could go with some Sam. Like, we've, like, look at the weight. Like, we've still got tons of weight, right? To put stuff in here. And I think I actually left out the Endo and the Pharaoh, if I remember correctly. I'm trying to remember how I did this now. No, I didn't have the Clan XL. That was what it was. Yeah, I didn't have the Clan XL. I went with Endo and Pharaoh. Yeah, that was it. It's all I needed. Right? So, once we get those big LRM20s, we could drop a Clan XL in here. You know? Um, the large lasers on their own. I mean, heat efficiency is garbage. We have to put some heat sinks in this thing. Uh, but we're not firing the large laser all the time, right? The large lasers aren't being fired all the time. Uh, Clan Farrell gave us case. And I think I put... I'm trying to remember what, what I did now. I had a couple of heat sinks. It wasn't a lot. I think I had three heat sinks in this thing. No, I didn't. Did I? I can't remember now. I know I had a Guardian ECM. Um, so we've got what? Three, six, three, six, nine turns of Artemis fire, and then six turns of Thunder fire. The chaff can be included on one LRM when we're firing off at other people. We've got um, enough for three full shots of SAM ammo. You know, we could do some other stuff with diverse ammo where we can put some dead fire in if someone gets close. Making this thing a little tankier build. Like we could go dead fire. There's also a half ton of swarm. But like I said, we're limited by hard points. And then we could go weapon. Now that we have AMS stuff though, we got, got a clan AMS. We could put you in there. Or no. We could go this route. How much do you weigh? One ton. Put you there because I picked up. I think it's a one ton of HE. Yeah, AMS ammo. Put you there. Then we're pretty much maxed out. And then if we go internals, do we have... I think we've got clan case 2. We could go that and that. And then we can go... Something like that. You know? And then, like I said, as we want to expand it with the LRMs, um, we can go ahead and drop an XL engine in there. Eventually, um, where are you here? Uh, here. I mean, the heat is still garbage, but, like, we can mitigate that other ways, right? That's if we're firing everything all the time, but we wouldn't be. It's very, very underpowered currently. And I know it doesn't look very exciting to start with. Uh, there's the IFF jammer. I thought we had... No, you know what? I did have... Um, right? I did have other... Uh, like like the zooms and stuff, but I think I had to put that in the trebuchet because we lost the trebuchet's head. Or maybe I didn't. No, because that's in the CT of the trebuchet. I don't know. I don't know where I put it. I mean, so we could go that way for now. It's pretty heat flush for fire it's firing everything. And that's a 3-5 move. Which is about the same as Helopolis. So, I mean I think for now, what kind of cockpit can we drop on this thing? Could put a clan cockpit in for gunnery. Or tactics. Piloting and tactics or gunnery. Let's go gunnery. Slightly better chance to hit. So, yeah. I mean, it's not like super, super exciting to start with. But like I said, once we we're able to um, get some clan LRM-20s, the whole, the whole dynamic of this thing will change. And if we can get some clan ER larges in here, um, that'll give us a couple more tons free. Then eventually if we can get a prototype double heat sink kit, which will drop the heat even more. Like it's gonna crank the heat's gonna get cranked up no matter what, right? So if we're at an LRM 80, the heat's more than double this, I think. It's 10. I think the LRM 20s are 26. 
So that'd be 104 heat before the lasers, right? With LRM with an LRM 80, which I think we can sink. If we do it right, we can sink it without too much of a problem. Like we could go with a battle computer and then heat reduction on the battle computer. Throw the Artemis in for the battle computer. It's only plus five clustering though, but improves the called shot chance. So there's a lot of options with this guy. Just right now, it's just I don't have the stuff for it, right? I mean, I could throw this in right now, but the extra three million for 12 tons that I can't figure out what to put in this thing because we don't have hard points for it or we don't have the weapons for it. There's just no point. I mean, if we go, I guess I could go with like a heav heavier LRM 15s, non non clan, you know. Then we got to carry more ammo. Like I got three LRM 15s. Inner sphere versions. These do five damage as opposed to four that the clans do though too, right? Hmm. So if we do do like that, that, and that, and go here, here, and here, and then go with the it up here it's up here we could go this route and I could probably make that work right um, probably make how would we do that though We'd have to pull the larges, I think. I mean, I could drop the ar armor a little bit more. Anyways, this is kind of what I'm thinking for it. Something along this line. Um, let's just pull the two larges. Put an ER large in. And then we'll go with, like, sorry, ammo. We're going to need more ammo for sure. So we'll go with like one, two and a half tons of ammo more. And then we'll apply a little bit of our armor back here. Like that. 3.31 million. I can't actually do it right now because we're not going to make our financial report. But that's that's kind of the idea. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Um, you think I should go this route? Um, what I'm going to do though, I think we can do it without the XL. And these. But what we'll do is we'll get it going with the two larges for now. See how it's working out. I mean, I don't know. It might be okay. It might not be okay. Uh, what are, oh yeah, and then the LRM-10s. So yeah, it might be okay, it might not be okay. Let me know what you think in the comment section. But for a start, I think this is a good start to replace the Holopolis. The Holopolis wasn't, was working okay. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just that, I, that artillery, indirect artillery is like, it's not the best in the world. So, um... Let me take that and that. There we go. Um, so I'm thinking that this will probably a be, be a better replacement in the long run. Plus it can be a stand-up fighter as well. Whereas the uh, Holopolis was always just kind of staying at the back. This we can move forward and if it needs to tank, it's got lots of armor. So it can just get in and be a tank as well. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. So I'm going to leave the episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If it did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And please drop your comments in the comment section down below. I'd like to hear what you think about this uh, this mech. And until next time, we'll see you later.